I'm going to show you how to create a custom map with the Oregon 450. By the way, it also works with Oregon 300, 400, 500, 550, 450T, etc. And the first thing you need to do is to find any map on the on the web or anywhere. For example, uh, I found a map of uh, UBC, which is a university campus map. The first thing you do is to save the map, uh, save image as, you save it to a folder. And after you save it to a folder, say in here, the next thing to do is to download Google Earth. You can go to earth.google.com and then you can download the Google Earth and then you start the Google Earth which I already have it here and then you find the place you want to uh, uh, have the map made so for example I want to find the map of UBC so I search for UBC and uh, which is a university in Vancouver and here I find the map in here and the next thing to do is to go to the menu add and then go to image overlay or you can press shift control O and then you give a title to the map for example you call it uh, UBC campus map the next thing is that in the link under the link you go to browse and you find the image that you just saved which is here and you can see the, uh, the image is on the screen right now and to make it easier to uh, to match the coordinate what you can do is go to the uh, adjust the value of the uh, adjust the value here so the transparency is uh, the transparency value in here and you can see that uh, to make the map uh, transparent and then you can make the uh, like adjust the position of the image so that you match the image on the Google uh, Google Earth it, it takes a little bit of time to do this kind of matching uh, like for example you match the coastline from here and you can ma match the uh, move the border here and then move the border here and here okay after you are happy with uh, all uh, with the map and, and you 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 do the all the adjustment, you can just press OK, and in here, as you can see, in under places, you can go to uh, you can right click, and then say save place as. And of course, I have already connected my uh, Garmin GPS using the USB cable. When you connect the Garmin GPS using the USB cable, it will show up as a drive. Uh, the drive I show up is a X drive, so Garmin X drive. And then uh, under the X drive, there's a, a Garmin folder. And in here, you need to create a folder called Custom Maps. So you go to the Custom Maps. And then you say uh, save the name as a uh, UBC campus maps, and then say yes. And then that's okay, find a map so, on my GPS. It looks like the image you save it has to be JPEG. If you use GIF or other format, the map may not show up in the on your GPS. So I found the map here. That that's the one exact one I had uh, downloaded as the uh, KMZ files from my Google Earth. So you can zoom in, and you you can see it has a it has pretty good resolution in there. Uh, the other thing is uh, what you can do with this kind of uh, custom map is like you can use uh, for example a map from uh, Lonely Planet and you can say this is a map of uh, Kavishati you can uh, find the map uh, on Google Earth and then you uh, when you go there you will know where to find the hotels uh, the other thing you can do is to use the uh, historical map or even a map for the zoo so as long as they are up to scale then they should be quite useful as a custom map.
Uh, I would like to say another thing uh, is if you want to make a, a huge map, say you have a p uh, several pieces of map and you, you want to match them together, you can download a program called uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Image Editor, uh, Microsoft Image Composite Editor, which is free if you have a uh, Windows 7. So say you, if you have uh, several pieces of map in here, you can just drag and drop at the, uh, the image to the Microsoft Image Composer Editor and you will automatically um, uh, merge the map into one big file and it's, uh, it's very fast and you can set the uh, scale to 100% and set it to JPEG image and then export it as one big map uh, beware that uh, if the map is too big then you won't be able to show up on the uh, Garmin unit I don't know the exact size limit 